We are not all born the same, but we are in the same world. If you are shy or socially awkward, you can't compete well in most industries in today's world. After watching this video, you will no longer be shy and you would have learned how to be socially fit. Let's take the tips one after the other. Tips to help overcome shyness and social awkwardness. In life, we are not all expected to like or do the same things. We all have our own perspective to life and so our life choices may always differ. As social beings, it is expected that we are in a constantly interacting state with others at different points in our lives. However, not every person on earth is wired to enjoy social gatherings or lifestyle like others. Not everyone likes to keep company with a few numbers to a large gathering of people. While this may be due to personal reasons or the introvert nature of some, a few others have identified that their choice or action to avoid social gatherings is due to their shyness about it. For some, as much as they desire to have a social lifestyle, they do so, poor, they do so poorly at it and end up feeling shy or awkward in social gatherings. While you may feel nervous about social gatherings, it is worthy for you to know that shyness and social awkwardness isn't just something that relates to you alone. Just because people do so well in a party, seminar, or conference doesn't mean that they are masters of social events. Everyone, or at least many people in their lives, have felt shy or awkward trying to engage in a conversation with others. For sure, it was the first time they tried to ask a girl out or for a number. Some others felt awkward when they joined a club for the first time and felt like they didn't belong there. Feeling awkward about social gatherings is normal, but it shouldn't stop you from pursuing a social lifestyle if that is what you desire. In this video, you will learn some important tips to help you overcome shyness and social awkwardness. Learn to laugh. Yes, it is what you heard. Laughter helps you to be at ease and make people feel comfortable around you. Have you ever wondered why people have icebreaker activity at parties? It's most certainly not to break ice for drinks. Icebreaker activities help people loosen up and stop being uptight. Make them laugh and feel free with one another. When you laugh, you release hormones that make you feel good about yourself and everything happening around you. The aura of the environment is always great when you, there is laughter. So, whenever you find yourself in such an environment, do not be shy to drop a few lines because that might just be what could steer the next roar of laughter in the room. This may not win you an award, but it will surely make you feel good and confident in the company you find yourself in. Force yourself to stay. One reality about every party and social events is that it's as much fun as it may be, it may not always be all that you expected. But then, just because it isn't what you wanted or expected, shouldn't be the reason you step out early. The truth is that you may not always find what you want in the first few minutes or even hours of being in a party or social gathering. You need to be able to encourage yourself to stay longer. And while you do, try to stay expectant. Don't be in a hurry to end the night and leave. Constantly, resist the all to leave and remind yourself that you came out to have a good time 
And if you don't get that, you aren't living. Learn to be comfortable with silence. Just because it is a social gathering doesn't mean that it will be loud or everyone will be at your face trying to have a conversation with you. Some people go to a party with expectation that they will make new friends and when this doesn't happen, they begin to feel bad and discouraged to attend future parties. What you need to realize is that people go to parties with different expectations, just as you, and most people just go out seeking to have fun. One way you can do this is to go with an open expectation, to have fun as well. The reality is that people like to have fun, and when they find you as a fun-loving person, they become easily attracted to you. Also, never forget that even in the biggest parties, there are times you will be around many people and there will still exist some form of awkward silence. This may not be the right time for you to try some of your funny jokes as you may babble, leaving others feeling some awkward about the situation. You need to be able to read your environment and learn to be okay with silence. Be ready to stretch. Imagine when you stretch physically during exercise, there is some form of energy you put into it, which could be sometimes painful. At the end of the day, the gain for me can be so fulfilling. Just as you stretch physically during exercise, Mental stretching is highly recommended to help you overcome shyness and social awkwardness. There are times that your mind may tell you no, or try to discourage yourself to take action into making new connections. Building your mental strength is what will encourage you to lean forward to make that move even though it may make you feel uncomfortable at that point in time. Seek a professional. Nothing is wrong in seeking the perspective of a professional in overcoming your fears or shyness towards social gatherings. For some people, being shy or socially awkward isn't just a regular feeling. For some, it could be an actual disorder that requires the help of a professional. An example is one who suffers from social anxiety disorder or social phobia. There are so many other social disorders that can limit a person from making real connections beyond their close circle of friends. Social disorders can make you feel quiet and isolated at a party you took a great deal to attend. You need to understand that shyness and disorders are on two different spectrum. To help you break loose from social disorders, seeking a professional may just be your best option. If you follow through with these tips, you will conquer shyness at Psychic Fix. We are committed to you.